Welcome. Today we're talking about bike racks. The biggest challenge with getting around by bike in North America is the lack of safe cycling infrastructure to get you to your destination safely. The second biggest challenge is finding a secure place to lock up your bike when you get there. Hopefully there'll be a bike rack waiting for you, but not all bike racks are created equally, so the type matters. Today, we're going to be checking out several styles of bike racks at various locations around town and rank them on a tier list from best to worst. The two main things I'll be looking for are placement and the ease of locking the bike with a U-lock. For placement, I like to see bike racks placed somewhere highly visible and well-trafficked. Maybe you're wondering, won't that just make my bike more visible and attractive for thieves? Perhaps. But my argument would be that a thief is a lot less likely to pull out bolt cutters or an angle grinder in a place where a lot of people might be watching. I also like to see bike racks spaced appropriately far apart so that multiple cyclists can lock up without feeling crowded or getting in each other's way. For the U-lock, I'll be looking to make sure that I can easily get my lock around both the rack and the frame of my bike. Locking around the front wheel is just not enough, as thieves can easily just release the quick-release clamp and take off with the rest of your bike. Why a U-lock specifically? These are generally regarded as the most secure type of lock. No lock is 100% theft-proof. With enough time and the right tools, someone can cut through any lock. While cable locks are lighter to carry or easier to wrap around the frame, even on poorly designed racks, they can unfortunately be cut through quickly with bolt cutters. U-locks, on the other hand, require something much more heavy duty like an angle grinder. And two cuts will be required to get through the lock. One cut is not enough unless you have the Hulk-like strength to bend steel. A thief will probably need a good bit of time and will burn through more than one grinding disc to make those cuts. All right, with those criteria in mind, let's head out. All right, so first up is Walgreens. Uh, this location has a schoolyard style bike rack. Um, I say schoolyard just because this is kind of the style of rack that I'd always see at elementary schools when I was growing up. So uh, you can already see there's a little bit of a problem there. As I try to push the front tire through, the fenders get in the way. So um, not ideal, but um, anyway, let's get out the U-lock and see what we can do. So first I'm going to try and just push the front tire through the rack the way that it was designed. Um, you can already tell, yeah, there's no way I'm going to get the U-lock to reach that way. Um, so next I'm going to push it off to the side so I can push the front tire all the way up against the wall and try again. Uh, yeah, still not going to reach. So next we're going to get creative. Uh, we're going to try and turn the front tire around and kind of slide it back there okay and success so not ideal but we were able to get it to work of course the other way you can do this is just turn the bike uh, parallel with the rack and block off all of the other spots and oh look it works perfectly super easy but no one else can park there and i don't want to be a jerk so we're gonna leave that alone all right next up we have fred meyer um, so this location uses a wave style rack. So already can tell I can actually get my front tire through there, so already a bit of an improvement. One thing I should say about this style of racks is that often stores will place them way too close to the wall. Not an issue with this bike, but with uh, my e-bike or a lot of other larger bikes, that makes it really difficult to be able to push your bike through far enough to get uh, contact with the frame. All right, now to see if we can actually get the U-lock around it. So I'm gonna try sliding it through the frame and trying to find a good angle there. Okay, I had to fiddle with it for a little bit, but yeah, seems to go through and it works. Okay, now we're in the Best Buy parking lot. So here I tried scanning the front of the store to see if I could find a bike rack. And see not having much luck kind of devoid of anything to lock my bike to tried poking around the side of the building also nothing there uh, after spending a little bit of time looking i ended up having to give up and get a little bit desperate so i found a stop sign here in the parking lot and uh, we're gonna lock up here all right next we're at target so the bike rack at this location is tucked around the side of the building. 
I really do not like the placement of this spike rack. The main reason being it's just not in a very visible area. So if a thief wanted to steal your bike, they could easily go 20-30 minutes working away at your lock with an angle grind without being spotted. Um, just no one's really coming back here other than the occasional employee for their smoke break, so just not great. So anyway, let's see how the lock fits on. So I'm going to try to slide the U-lock through. Uh, not having much luck with this angle. Yeah, it's not quite fitting, so we're going to try a different angle. Okay, and it goes through and it works. Alright, now we're at the library. Um, I chose this location just because it has a more creative style of bike rack. Um, so you can see on the sign here, it shows two or three different ways that you can lock your bike up against it. So we're going to try a couple of those. Uh, the first one was lifting your front tire up, so it's kind of wedged between the frame and the front tire. Again, my fenders are getting in the way, so that's not going to work. Um, I'm going to try uh, approach number two, which is uh, kind of pinching the U-lock up through the frame and onto that upper rail. So we'll see how that works. Alright, so not quite reaching. I'm going to have to kind of lift the bike up a few inches in order to make contact. Um, so, yeah, again, not ideal, but that worked okay. Um, and then we're going to try the alternate approach that they showed on the sign, which is you kind of back the back tire up to it and you're supposed to be able to lock between the post and your frame. Not really working for me. Um, really hard to get that U-lock around that post. Um, you really can't get enough reach for the frame. You can see my saddle is kind of getting stuck there on the rail, so that did not work. Next we're headed over to the Boise State University campus. Over at this location we have what are called staple style racks. Now these racks I actually like quite a bit. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is there's a lot of space between bike racks. So if multiple people are locking up there, really really easy to find space without getting in each other's way. Um, another thing you'll notice is the racks are positioned parallel to your bike instead of perpendicular. So really really easy to find multiple places to make contact between your lock and your frame. Okay, next we're at a grocery store called Albertsons. So this one actually has a really cool creative and artistic uh, bike rack setup. These are very hit and miss. Uh, the creative shapes are fun, but uh, they don't always make great bike racks. So you can see right there, I kind of had to move my pedals out of the way to fit it through the artwork. Um, otherwise, these ones actually aren't too bad, even though they kind of have the creative shapes and uh, like icons going through them. They're really not too different from a staple style rack in terms of how they're actually constructed. So I'm hoping this one's fairly easy to use. Yep, so there's the U-lock and it just goes straight in. All right, we're back. It is time to rank the bike racks we visited. So here on the screen, I have a tier list creator. If you hang out on the internet where video games are discussed, you've probably seen these. I think they're popular in other communities as well, but pretty straightforward. Here we have S rank, which would be the top rank, A tier below that, and then all the way down to D tier, which is the worst. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do a quick review and we'll figure out where to rank these. So first up, we have the uh, wave style rack that was at Fred Meyer. So things I liked about this one, um, I could get the front tire through pretty easily. Um, it was a little bit close to the wall. Um, I've brought my e-bike there before, which has a slightly wider tire, and that one does struggle a little bit. Also with wave racks in general, they tend to be a little bit crowded, um, where if you've got multiple bikes there, you kind of start getting in each other's way. But they're not as bad as say like the stop sign or the schoolyard rack, so uh, I'll give this one a B. Um, next up, we have the uh, creative artistic style racks that we saw at Albertsons. So 
I'd say generally I would put uh, the more artistic style racks like this in the C tier just because the shapes tend to get in the way of actually being able to get a like lock around the bike. This one wasn't too bad though. Um, it has a lot of the same characteristics as the staple style racks where there's quite a bit of space between different racks. So uh, you're not gonna get each other's way if there's lots of cyclists there. It, it positions parallel to your bike. So pretty easy to find a few different places where you can get a lock around your frame. You know, I'm feeling generous. I'm gonna give this one an A rank. All right, uh, next up we have the library rack. So this was the one that was really creative and tries to give you two or three different ways to park your bike. Uh, you can either lift your tire up over that rail. Uh, you can back the back tire in and try to lock it up against the post. Um, yeah, so I've taken a bike there that doesn't have the fenders and it works pretty well lifting the front tire over there. But again, like if you have a bike with fenders, it's no go. If you have an electric bike that's gonna weigh 60 pounds, that's really difficult to lift up and over. Um, yeah, it's just, the design is so finicky that it really depends on your bike. Like even the alternate way of just backing your front back tire up to it didn't work for me. Um, I'm gonna put this one on the seat here. Next, we have the schoolyard style rack. So these ones I kind of despise. It's hard to lock up anything than your front tire to these when you're using it properly. To get a lock around the frame for me, I end up having to like turn the tire sideways, which was not great. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna put this one Worse than the library rack, I, I'm still gonna give it a C though. We need to save this special spot in hell for the stop sign. Um, yeah, so next up we have uh, the, well, let's just jump to the stop sign since I brought that one up. Uh, yeah, so the stop sign, uh, this is not a bike rack at all. This is a fact of life that so many of us has to deal with is uh, stores just don't have bike racks at all. Um, so I'm gonna put the stop sign in this D tier and it can live in its place of shame. Uh, next up, we have the staple style racks that we saw at the Boise State University campus. Yeah, A tier for this one. Uh, these are great, lots of space between racks, um, lots of points of contact. Um, yeah, really nothing bad to say, say about the staple racks. Yeah, th these should be the standard. Um, next, we have the wave style rack at Target. I debated whether or not I should include two of the same style of racks at all. Um, in this case, I did want to highlight the difference that positioning makes. So a same exact rack, but here it's kind of tucked around the back of the store where it's secluded. A thief could have more time to work at it. So just because of the placement, I'm going to give this one a C rank instead of a B rank. And lastly, I had an honorable mention. I did not get a chance to make it out to see this uh, location personally, uh, but in one of the local Facebook groups um, in my area, somebody had shared this photo. Uh, so this is a bike parking facility at Micron, which is a uh, semiconductor manufacturing uh, uh, company that's based here in Boise. So they have this really, really awesome a uh, bike parking facility. It has a metal cover over it, kind of like a carport, uh, staple style racks um, all throughout. Um, the person who shared this photo in the Facebook group also mentioned that they also have a couple power outlets. So assuming you have a outdoor safe charging cord, you might even be able to charge an electric bike there. So I'm gonna save this one uh, for the S tier. That's it for today. Next, I'd be interested in hearing from you. What are your favorite types of bike racks? Or what are your biggest pet peeves with trying to find bike parking? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, ride safely.